components of the EKG remain the same in each lead. Let's review each of these to understand the correlation between electrical and mechanical. The P wave. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. The P wave is always upright in leads 1, 2, B4 through V6, AVF, and is inverted or upside down in AVR. The beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the R wave is called the PR interval, representing the spread of the impulse through the AV node, bundle of his right and left bundle branch, and Purkinje fibers. The normal range or time is 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds. Next, let's look at the QRS wave. The QRS wave demonstrates ventricular depolarization. The first is the Q. The Q wave is defined as the first deflection after the P wave. So there's the P wave and there's the Q. R is the first deflection after the P or the Q. So there is the P wave. It's the first negative deflection following the P is the Q. The first positive deflection after the P wave is the R wave. And finally, S. The S wave is the first negative deflection after the R wave. So there's the R wave, Q, R, S. The normal range is 0.08 to 0.12 seconds in time. Let's review the ST segment. The ST segment represents the early part of ventricular repolarization. It begins at the isoelectric line. It extends from the S wave to the upward slope of the T wave. ST segment deviation from the isoelectric line may indicate myocardial infarction, ischemia, pericarditis, or ventricular aneurysm. The T wave, shown here, demonstrates ventricular repolarization. The T interval represents total ventricular activity. If the T interval is less than one half the R to R interval, it is probably normal. If the T interval is half the R to R interval, it is borderline. If the T interval is greater than one half the R to R interval, it is considered prolonged and abnormal.